All right, it's time for another team battle ribbon, but I've got some very good news for you all. What's it going? So, uh, Riven is the last of my replay switch two, and it's kind of scared. It scared the shit out of me. You know, I just had no more footage to upload as a team battle. But apparently, Riot finally fixed spectator mode, and I'll be able to upload team battles again, fresh ones, non-stoppy ones. Uh, the reason why they were all pretty much stopped is because I had nothing else. By the way, anybody wondering what my runes are? It's attack damage, red attack damage, twins army, yellow measures, and says blues. Twenty-one nine zero masteries. Anyways. Uh, this is the last of the hopefully stumpy team battles, and I'll be able to go back to my regular, you know, uh, the regular form of my team battles, having difficult ones, having even losses. So, yay, finally Riot does something for, uh, concerning spectator mode. I've been panicking for the last month. Nonetheless, uh, this last video will still hold to the nature of the team battles I was having for the past few weeks, in which I explain more about Riven's balance as a jungler than, you know, her actual, well, the actual commentary of the game. Jungle Riven. A lot of people always ask me, what about Jungle Riven, Stonewall? Isn't she strong? She's got mobility, she's got damage and everything. Yes, she does. The thing is, she's a good jungler in what she wants to do, but she faces a, a problem a lot of other champions tend to face. She is basically just a weaker version of another jungler, of another champion in the jungle, I mean. Think of it this way. Uh, she has more damage than Lee Sin, no doubt, and her late game is stronger, but she's got more weaknesses, um, she does have mobility, but Lee Sin has way more mobility than her, and he's a lot, honestly, a lot less risky to use when it comes to wall hopping, he's, he, and he doesn't really need, uh, I mean, his wall, his war drops and his Q are just a lot, a lot more, you know, malleable to me than the, the three hops as Riven and stuff. Anyways, uh, Jungle Riven. Uh, like I said, is a kind of a weaker version of Lee Sin, and her purpose in the as a jungler is you know to deal damage, to gank people, and just scale in and uh, obliterate others. But Jarvan and uh, Vi also do the similar things, albeit in different fashion. Seemingly, Riven had jungle Riven. All she provides is damage and some control, and I guess some pseudo assassination, and. It's like, is it really more than Vi and Jarvan will provide? So she is like, it's not that she's bad. It's just she's overshadowed. Like, why would you pick her over over those champions I just said? For fun, of course. If you like Riven or you are better at Riven, then go ahead and play her. She won't weaken your team. She will be a risky early pick because if she gets stopped early game, then she really, really doesn't do well as a jungler. Her recovery is among some of the worst for junglers. Albeit, her ultimate is a really amazing ultimate for. For, uh, for someone who jungles, who carries from the jungle to have, it's amazing. It was a lot better when it was lower cooldown, and I fucking spammed jungle ribbon when that cooldown was so low. But I digress. She's just not that great of a pick compared to Vi and uh, everybody. Not weak. Go ahead and play her. Like I said, if you know how to play Riven, she's a wonderful pick, and I personally do like playing her. But uh, Vi, in my opinion, would be the better the better champion to play if you wanted a, a carry from the jungle, at least with a lot less drawbacks and a lot less risk. Nonetheless, though, what she can do is gank the living crap out of people. Her damage is amongst some of the highest in the, the early game junglers. Imagine this. Like, I've mentioned it with Xin Zhao, and uh, Riven has the same thing. There are some junglers who don't have the best crowd control or the best gap closers, or honestly, like the or the safest clear times of all, but they provide the crowd control they do provide is enough to secure some ganks, and they also have the damage to secure the gank on their own. Some champions like Nautilus have a lot of crowd control. They say so stick the. They gridlock somebody down and pretty much allow you to pummel on them. However, Nautilus himself likely can't kill the target. He has to rely on his lane teammate to do something. So if his lane teammate dies during the process of that gank, or his lane teammate doesn't even respond to the gank, Nautilus will not accomplish anything. You'll just have wasted his time. Now, there are some junglers that have a lot of damage, like Shivana, but they don't have any crowd control. So even if they do show up to deal their damage, if their lane mate doesn't have any CC or can't actually apply it, then they she can't kill anybody. So champions like Riven and Zin Zhao have both crowd control, although a bit minimal and a little bit wonky when it comes to at least securing ganks, but they also have a lot of damage backed up onto them. So they 
don't rely so much on their teammates for either thing. They will do a lot of damage and they will finish off their targets. I love that when it comes to Xin Zhao and Riven. That's why when I play low level, uh, when I try to rank up, you have seen low low elo Riven and that kind of stuff. If you want to get from you know so, uh, bronze, silver, and gold, you may consider picking up uh, champions like Riven and Xin Zhao. Because again, as sad as it is to say, you cannot really rely on your teammates to do anything right. So if you're gonna, if you want to carry, go Riven, provide the CC and the damage for uh, for your ganks, annihilate people, and snow out of control. Everybody knows Riven has an extremely strong late game if she's farmed and fed. Everybody knows she can snowball out of control. So. She's a very smart lower divisions pick, and later on, as you get up in divisions, you start realizing that Jarvan and Vi are better picks. But you know, it's not. It's she's not a bad jungle. Go ahead and play her. Have fun. I love Jungle Riven, and you should too. Hey.